welcome back to my channel if you're new here then thank you for being here today's video is going to be all about cloth diapering um, I was gonna do one big video but I am actually going to split it up into a series because there's so much information that I'm pretty sure the video would be like hours long um, but I'm going to do the washing section today because I actually have to wash a load anyway so it's pretty perfect I'm just going to show you guys how I wash my diapers and um, there's we have two different kinds here so we have pocket diapers and then we have an organic all-in-one diaper um, my friend Ashley she is like my cloth diapering mentor she's the reason why I chose to start cloth diapering and um she has just been awesome so a lot of my advice is from her so i just wanted to put that in there um but she actually gave me this all-in-one it's um by thirsties i just got it yesterday i'm super excited about it i love getting new cloth so this is what an all-in-one looks like um let me take this out because that's an extra so it's got two little inserts and it's got a sewn in insert as well um and I want to say these are let's see 55% hemp and they are 45% organic cotton so and then we have this um Geffen baby that is 60% hemp and 40% organic cotton and this is just like um for like a heavy wetter like at night um so that actually goes like on the inside and then the two go on the outside so when i get ready to wash everything is going to stay every, i pack up everything in the diaper before i put it in my wet bag and so when i wash it everything you just pick it up by this end and everything can just dump into the washing machine so you don't ever have to touch the actual diaper um, so, we are actually going to pre-wash the diapers, so like a pre-soak, and then, um, I was checking to see, yeah, these are natural all the ones, I said organic, so I wanted to make sure before I continued. Um, so, you machine wash these in warm or hot water, and I'm going to, I always pre-wash, like a rinse, and then, um, with no bleach I don't use any softener either I use all free and clear and I can list a reference um, down below of what detergents you can use this is just my favorite it's the one that Jackson does not react to um, and then we are going I hang dry mine um, air dry it and then we have this is a dirty one so I don't know if I want to show you this is Alva baby pocket diapers most of my diapers are pocket um, I wish I would have gotten all-in-ones pockets are great but I just kind of get tired of stuffing them it just adds something else you know with the insert um, and these are all snaps so the pocket looks like this and then it has a pocket for the insert and then so I'll just take the insert out and this is a bamboo naturally nature insert that i mentioned in my diaper bag video that i'll link below as well um but this is off i got i get these inserts off amazon and i just like them they hold really good bamboo and hemp are the best um so we're just gonna take this out i'm gonna go ahead and set my washing machine for a pre-wash so i'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see that okay so you can see my washing machine is on warm warm and we're actually gonna switch it because we have a small load so i'm gonna go over here to pre-wash go ahead and open it pre-wash and then I'm going to um, flip you guys over show you what I do for the main wash and then we will air dry when they're done main wash I'm going to set it to 14 which is super so that's just the highest setting excuse the dust and then I'm going to set it to second rinse so it's gonna rinse 
one more time at the end. So that just ensures that all the bacteria, yeast, anything like that is gone. So I didn't actually have any poopy diapers this um, for this load, but if you have a poopy diaper, breastfeeding poop is actually water soluble, so you do not have to rinse them out in your toilet before you wash them. Once they start solid, that's a different story, or formula, different story. You are going to want to have a sprayer, like a diaper sprayer. I just use, we have an attachment on our shower, so, and it reaches over to our toilet, so I use that to spray the diapers off. You just hold the end of it and spray it into the toilet, and it just gets all the, like the salt, more solid, gets down in the toilet, flush it like you normally would. Um, the toilet is the only place that you want to put the waste in because if not you are polluting if you use it in the sink bathtub outside whatever toilet it goes in the toilet I had to switch so my friend Ashley again she actually gave me a I think it's called a spray spray pot um, so it looks like a clipboard almost you clip the diapers and you hold it over your toilet and you just spray it down into the toilet it makes it so easy I'm also going to find out what she has like this bucket thing that actually sits over her toilet um, So it just makes life a little bit easier. So I will also link that down below if you guys are interested because That thing looks really cool. She actually came over yesterday and was like you need to make sure you hit all these points so um because it is, it's a lot of information and it can seem overwhelming at first, but honestly, once you get in a routine, it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> I love it and it's so, it's better for the environment, it's better for their skin really because he's so sensitive to everything and um, you know, you need, but you do need a good support system and the cloth community is a great support system overall. Um, so, and I would love to be your support system. If you have any questions or anything like that, please leave them down below. Like I said, this is just like a series one of a full series. We're going to go in depth about the inserts, about the actual different kinds of diapers, different brands, and things like that. So we'll get more into that um, on our next couple of videos. But we will see you guys in Friday's video. And um, I, we hope you like this video. Let me know if you are excited for this series. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And we will talk to you later. Say bye.